Well, I'm Angela Robertson, and I am uh, the Associate Director at the Social Science Research Center and a research professor. And I've recently been awarded a grant from the National Institute on Drug Abuse uh, to participate in what's called the JJ Trials Cooperative. I'm Connie Bear Thomas. I'm director of the Health Policy Research Center, which is a part of the SSRC at um, Mississippi State. And I'm working with Dr. Angela Robertson um, on the JJ Trials project as a co-investigator. This project is a cooperative agreement that's funded through NIDA. It's a five-year project, and we're looking at um, the implementation of evidence-based programs focusing on substance abuse and HIV risk for kids who have involvement with the juvenile justice system. And we're working with six other universities um, as research centers. And my role in the project is um, co-investigator. And we're all involved in all aspects of the research. So everything that goes on with this trial, each of the research centers has a, a part in it. And specifically, I'm working with the, um, with the work group, looking at some of the existing assessments for kids to screen them and assess them for substance abuse problems and HIV risk. Dr. John Bartkowski of the University of Texas at San Antonio worked with the MSU SSRC for 11 years and will be taking a lead role in the collection and analysis of qualitative data. He states, the purpose of the project is designed to use the best of substance abuse prevention and treatment science to improve the lives of young Mississippians. We want them to adopt uh, prevention and treatment practices that have been proven to work and not only been proven scientifically to be effective at reducing delinquency and drug use, but also are cost effective. This project will focus on encouraging more evidence-based practices in the juvenile youth courts. An evidence-based practice is an intervention or treatment that has been scientifically tested and evaluated and found effective to treat the problems it specifically targets. Our goal is to test different strategies. How do you get these agencies that work in the field to adopt these practices that have been, you know, proven um, scientifically? We want to have evidence-based programs, which programs that are proved to be effective with kids, implemented in the juvenile justice system, so that we can um, assess kids and refer them to programs to help them if they do have substance abuse problems or treatment programs if they have um, HIV or HIV risk. I hope that this project will have an impact on kids, you know, involved in the Mississippi juvenile justice system. We, we don't have near enough uh, treatment programs for kids in, in Mississippi particularly drug treatment programs for adolescents. We, we, and so I'm very hopeful that this project will have a direct impact um, uh, here, in, here in Mississippi.